on the tree fruit side, we have peaches, apples, cherries, plums. And then on the produce side, we grow onions, squash, winter squash, watermelons, tomatoes, peppers, a little bit of everything. There's a variety of fruits and vegetables year-round here on 78 acres in Smithsburg. We grow 50 acres of tree fruit and 50 acres of produce. 50 and 50, now that doesn't quite add up. The name 78 acres comes from the fact that this home farm where we're standing is actually 78 acres in size. And as former Matt Harsh expanded the farm, the acreage changed, but the name stuck. When my wife and I were trying to figure out what to name the farm. That was kind of the only thing we could agree on, was that we had 78 acres at that time. So we just went with that. They can grow just about anything here at 78 acres in Washington County, including these beautiful peaches, which are prime for picking, and their summer squash, which is ready to be harvested. What a perfect way to kick off the first day of summer. Oh, bonito, bonito, muy bonito. Matt admires the morning harvest, knowing that in less than 48 hours, this assortment of green and golden <laughs> zucchini will be for sale at the grocery store. That is unheard of in the produce business, to be able to turn product around that fast. The secret? Matt picks, washes, and packages his produce all in one go. We're not picking it, hauling it into a shed somewhere, dumping it out onto a grater, putting it back in boxes. It's really only getting touched about one time. Workers cut the squash off and place them into a small bucket for their initial rinse. Next. They come over to the trailer and dump it into the bigger tub that's also full of water, and it has a little bit of something in it to keep the water from getting nasty. And then when we pack it back out of the tub of water directly into boxes, and we can ship it straight to the store like that. These stackable reusable boxes make the process even more efficient and the transportation of the produce easier. The thing we like about them is they lock together when they stack on the pallets so they don't fall over. They're much more ecologically friendly. We're not, you know, using a, a single-use cardboard box we're just throwing away. You talk about bringing prime produce into the kitchen. Well, these are about the prettiest squash I think I've ever seen. So let's go from farm to farm table and see what we can do. Priscilla, I'm always looking for a good vegetable recipe, and you've got some squash you're chopping up here. What's it going to go into? I'm making a summer squash casserole using yellow and zucchini squash, along with some onions. Bring it to a boil, drain, and add cheddar cheese, Ritz crackers, butter, milk, eggs, whip it together, add a little bit of salt and pepper, mm -hmm. put it into a buttered casserole dish. 20 minutes later, at 400 degrees, you have a beautiful casserole. I'll enjoy. I oh, thank you. Now, how did you get this recipe? My mother always made this during the summer. It's like a squash pudding. It's delicious. We're going to put the recipe on our website at mpt.org farm so you can try it at home. For the local buy, I'm Al Spoiler. Joanne? Thanks, Al. And for you at home, visit us at www.mpt.org farm for all our local buy recipes. And if you want to look behind the scenes, don't forget to check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.